Welcome to Crawdaddy's Custom Crankbaits. It's been a little while since I've done a video. Last week, I've been sick, got some kind of stomach virus, and finally halfway over that. So I figured I'd just sit down. I got home from work and go paint up one of these deep divers I got from lurebill.com. Um, I went ahead and primed it white, put a pearl silver over it. Um, few weeks back, me and my wife was at a model figure show and I bought some paints. This is kind of like a yellow, they don't even have a name on it, um, but it's kind of like a yellow metal look or something. I, I, I really don't know how to describe it, but I'm just going to come on, on the sides and build this up. I'm gonna leave the bottom half that pearl silver. And last week when I got sick, I was airbrushing and left paint setting for a week in my airbrush. So it's been trying to get it unclogged. Clean this out of my airbrush real quick. While I'm cleaning my airbrush, I just want to say thanks to everybody who supports me. I just hit over a thousand subscribers, which I never thought I would hit, but um just want to say thank y'all for supporting me and watching my videos it means a lot now i'm gonna do is just take some bombay black ink I'm going to drop just a couple drops, maybe one drop, maybe two alcohol in it. I'm definitely going after this video, have to break this down and clean it.
Y'all get any of these, you're gonna have to remember to get some eyes. I think they're 11 millimeter eyes. They're big old eyes. Not sure how far I want to come down with that black. I'm going to use a shade shift and I'll make sure I have enough so when I put my netting over it, you can see it. Clean this out of my airbrush. Excess I've got left over, I'm just gonna dump back in my bottle. color I want to go with. to go with this one. This is the thing when you 
don't do this every day. You kind of forget what you're doing. Sorry it's taking me so long. I think I'm gonna go with acid rain, shade shift. Acid rain is uh, yellow, green is blue. take it off this because I think it's going to be easier holding it with my hands instead of that thing just try and line it up where I want it to have my other netting I don't know what I've done with it like I said I just trying to sit down today and do some painting because I'm so far behind some of that on the back or not. I'm just trying to get a little bit of the color just more of the specks on it so i'm just i don't have a lot of paint coming through i'm just putting just to give me that color i think i'm gonna go with that I'm gonna pull 
tape off. I've been asked, you know, about glossing, you know, when I get done. I mean, it just usually it takes so much time to do. But today I'm gonna go ahead and do it all, I guess, at one time. Just taking one of my little Mexican cups, put it on there. I use Bob's epoxy, 30 minute epoxy. Um, you know, someone asked me the other day, did I have trouble with Bob's yellowing on me? So far, no. Um, but I've not been using Bob's that long to really know. Um, I would, time will tell. But so far, Bob's epoxy is the best thing I've found. I, I have less trouble with it than anything else I've used. I'm just going to turn that back off. Just adding my hardener. I always go a little bit more with the hardener just to make sure someone made a comment once before about epoxy the epoxy is heavier than hardener that, that's probably true so the way i look at it is if it's harder you know or heavier then it's going to take less of this then if it's, this is lighter when you're doing this you're going to have to put more of this to get to the same equal weight so i you know i've never had any trouble with it that's the way I do it and the way I'm going to continue doing it. I'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol. I'll put three drops in there. Just going to mix it around. Don't have to mix it real long, you know, just make sure it's nicely mixed. You don't have to spend two or three minutes. Just make sure you got a nice mixture. What the epoxy, or the alcohol does to the epoxy, it thins it out some, takes some of your air bubbles away where you don't have so many air bubbles, and it makes it, you know, you got more play time with it to put it on. I'm just going to start at the bottom. Just making sure I get a nice coat on it. I'll probably go heavier with my epoxy than most people do. Um, that's just the way I do it. A lot of guys like putting really super thin coats on it. I just like to put one nice even coat on it. I hope I'm not out of the camera frame. I'm not done this in a while. So I'm trying to Get back into it. If y'all have any suggestions on what you want me to paint or try to paint something up, just, you know, leave me a remark, you know, comment. You know, if I can do it, I, I, I try to do it. Um, I'm going to 
I'm always open for suggestions on what somebody wants me to try. You know, it's all this is a trial and error. I mean, there's a lot of times you paint something and you, you think you're happy with it. And then when you're done with it, you, you're not happy with it. Here, all I'm doing is just, I'm putting a little bit of heavier, more epoxy on it, just making sure I've got a good coat on it. Cause once I put my, you know, my turner, it's just all gonna start laying out anyway. But I just wanna make sure I got a good coat of epoxy on. And, and as I said, this is how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. I've had good results with it. Um, I can't complain about it. Um, on the way I do it. But anyway, that's what I came up with this morning. You know, that's a shade shift. Uh, I wanted my different netting, but I couldn't find it. I should have got it before I started painting. Um, so I, that way I would have had it on hand, but um, just wanted to do a quick little video. These are really nice blanks. You can get them at uh, lurebuild.com from Jimmy. Um, they're kind of expensive, two, 250 260 somewhere around there but they're really nice blanks um they're a deep diver but make sure if you order some you get the uh big eyes i think it's 11 millimeter eyes that fit into these uh but they just give you a nice looking bait but anyway thanks for watching crawl daddies until next time we'll be seeing you then